What's up guys, it's DJ Wu Pig, owner of Crown Entertainment, uh, right here in the state of Arkansas, coming at you with another video. Uh, it is February 26th, 2014, and I'm kind of just uh, doing this to shoot kind of a brief update on where I am, uh, what's been going on with the company. I've gotten a lot of new subscribers and, and watchers and followers on YouTube. Uh, shouts out to all of you guys that have uh, started watching my videos here in the past couple months. Um, and I want to just give a quick update. First of all, um, as probably a lot of you DJs know, January, February, it's slow uh, for performing gigs, but it's busy with booking gigs. And I've had a lot of good luck uh, booking weddings for later on in the year, uh, May, September, and even even uh, even uh, gigs into next year, 2015. So uh, January, although it's been slow, I've only done one or two uh, events in the first couple months of the year it's been very busy as far as uh, as far as booking gigs for later on in the year a lot of new gear I'm excited about using uh, coming up this year I've purchased some moving heads from the club I DJ at on a regular basis um, moving heads are phenomenal and they do all sorts of crazy uh, weird uh, tricks and moves and spinning gobos and things like that um, I've been working with my DMX 2.0, I purchased that uh, from American DJ, um, and that has really allowed me to gain access of uh, full control of every light that I have, uh, even with the movers, the scanners, and uh, the uplighting. Um, I'm still going to use, uh, I've got a, a, a standalone board for DMX that I'm still going to keep uh, just in case, you know, there's a computer can fail. Um, the DMX hardware, the actual hardware you can hang on to, um, they tend to stick around for a long time. Nothing's wrong with the one I have, so I'm going to hang on to it just in case um, we run in, into, into any unforeseen problems because they all arise at just about every gig that anybody does. Uh, you're going to hit that little stump, but over time you start to overcome things. So until I'm fully comfortable with using a computer uh, for DMX at a gig, I'm just going to hang on to that board for now. Um, I scanners, uh, DM, uh, my DMX 2.0. I've also purchased some projectors uh, for shooting video and doing uh, monologues, or not monologue, monograms, gobos, uh, things of that nature, which also can be done with the, uh, with the moving heads and scanners. They have removable gobos. Um, but for longer throws, I think a projector would work out uh, better. So. Uh, that's just another thing that I've added to the to the closet. I'm also purchasing uh, more and more uplighting. I really want to build my uplighting packages. I really want to get to where I, you know, I'm in between 20 and 30 lights uh, minimum, um, just so I can fill a big room with DMX uh, and and color and uh, and really upsell uh, uh, uplighting, upsell uplighting, up up. Um, because that's going to make you a lot of money in the long run. A little time to uh, set up, especially if you're running a static color. Um, so it's a great return on investment. I know a lot of the uh, forums and things like that in other, other states besides Arkansas, a lot of venues start, have started providing uplighting. Here in Arkansas, it's not that uh, common yet to have a venue provide uplighting. Um, so it's still an a easy way to make some good money if you're going to run static color. If you're going to run full DMX, that's fine too. You can color wash walls and make them do crazy things for intros and, and even uh, wash uh, for dance floor lighting. Um, <clears throat> so, um, easy way to make some good money when you're just purchasing some lights. Um, I've kind of started to, as my business has matured, as I've matured, as I've grown as a businessman, a DJ, um, I've started to move away from things that aren't uh, DMX. I know Mikey Mike calls them spinning puke lights uh, for the moon flowers and stuff like that. And I kind of feel like uh, those lights and things like that are uh, behind me um, with learning DMX and uh, having the capability to do so many things with DMX. There's no need for me to be running uh, moon flowers and things like that when I can get the same effect and a better effect from a scanner or a uh, moving head. So I kind of feel like that's uh, in the past. I'm starting to sell off a lot of my old, you know, LED moonflower lights. Um, I'm going to keep one or two of them around just in case somebody gets my royalty, uh, what I call my royalty basic package. Very, very basic um, package for anything. 
I might toss one or two of those in there just to kind of break up the monotony. Um, but as far as my higher end stuff goes, all DMX, no, uh, no simple plug and play uh, lights on any of that. So I think I'm uh, starting to mature in this industry. Uh, like I said in my previous videos, I've only been doing this full time since 2010. And it's 2014, that's a short period of time. I come from a club background where none of, none of this was involved. Didn't have to speak to clients on a regular basis and things like that. Uh, but I feel like I'm uh, growing and uh, my business needs to grow with me and how I provide uh, my services. So uh, we got uh, new DMX, we got projectors, we've got moving heads. I'm gonna start investing in uh, trust soon, hopefully. Um, trust is expensive. So, you know, as, as I start to book more, my prices have matured with me and gone up a little bit. As I start to get more money from these things, I'm going to start investing in trusts, um, TVs uh, for uh, displaying images and things like that. That would be a really nice get. Um, a lot of DJs making good money off shooting video. I do get video from my uh, music subscription service. Um, I just can't take advantage of it yet. So I'm building my library. And uh, once I start doing projection and uh, hopefully moving to TVs, hopefully next year, I'd like to have a set of TVs by next year. Uh, that way I can make some uh, good money. People, it's all about image. Uh, good money for not doing much work, especially if you set it up on a truss or a tripod, uh, plug and play, set it up, throw a scram on it, and, uh, and it looks good, and that's it for the rest of the night. You don't have to touch it. It's not like interacting with uh, controls or DMX. Um, another uh, thing, I'm actually getting married uh, at the end of May, so we're under 90 days until our wedding date, um, and I've issued a challenge to myself. I'm going to try to lose some weight, guys. I, I'm not happy with how I feel, I'm not happy with how I look, and uh, as a DJ, potential clients base everything off of, uh, off of image, and I kind of feel like uh, if I come in with a slimmer fit, uh, that maybe you know my image breaks through. If nothing else, it's for personal reasons. I need to I need to start doing better. I'm too young to be having you know sore knees and stuff like that. Even though I do have a day job uh, as a delivery driver, I'm just too young um, to start having health problems just from weight. And I feel like if I can control my weight, I can control other things uh, else, it's such as the pain and stuff like that. My mom is actually calling me right now. Let me answer that. Uh, anyway, um, I, I really want to do better with, uh, with my weight and image. Um, whether you want to believe it or not, image is a big thing to potential clients. Uh, from the car you drive, to the clothes you put on, to your weight, to your haircut, um, to your skin color. Uh, it's, a, it's a big thing. So I feel like you know I've got a pretty decent ride. Uh, I want to control my weight. There's nothing I can do about my skin color. I try to keep my hair... Uh, fairly neat, trimmed, and clean. I've got to do it for work anyway, so um, there's no need in going to a, a client meeting looking like crap. So um, just a few things uh, to throw out there, um, just kind of give you an update. I did get a new camera, um, shoots 1080p, I've already mentioned that and stuff like that. So more gig logs on the way, more videos on the way, and, uh, and everything is looking bright for the year of 2014. So until next time, I'm DJ Woopig. We'll see you next time.